military weapons. Welcome back everybody. Before we get started, make sure you're subscribed and leave a like on this video. Today we talk about the KH-47M2 Kinzel. It's a Russian nuclear-capable air-launched ballistic missile and can carry both conventional and nuclear warheads, also being launched from the Tu-22M3 bombers or from a MiG-31K interceptor. Some facts about the KH-47M2 Kinzel is that the missile entered into service in December of 2017, being unveiled by Russian President Vladimir Putin on March the 1st of 2018 as one of six new strategic Russian weapons. Russian media claims the missile's range is 2,000 kilometers when carried by the MiG-31K and 3,000 kilometers when carried by the Tu-22M3. American commentators have been skeptical about these Russian claims about the weapon, though. Of its design, the missile was designed to target U.S. and NATO warships that pose a threat to strategic missile systems in Russia's European parts and also to destroy NATO missile defense systems and ballistic missile defense ships and land objects that are close to Russian borders, such as the one in Romania. It's designed to overcome any known U.S. air or missile defense systems, and as of 2018, that includes the MIM-104 Patriot, the Terminal High Altitude Area Defense and Aegis Combat System. The missile's first stage is probably shared with 9K720 Islander, and the guidance section is specifically designed for this missile. It's capable of attacking fixed and movable targets like aircraft carriers, and it accelerates to hypersonic speeds within seconds of its launch, performing maneuvers at all stages of its flight trajectory to evade enemy missile defenses. The specifications include an air-launched ballistic missile, its modified MiG-31 fighter as its base, its payload is 480 kilograms, it features a warhead that's either nuclear or conventional, it has a range of up to 2,000 kilometers with an operational status being in service from 2017 to the present. Thanks for watching, be sure you're subscribed and leave a comment below and I'll see you next time.